Hi everyone, this is Mark Siegel and this tutorial is going to give you a quick overview of what the new PowerSchool Pro is going to look like when you first encounter it. So obviously you want to go to PowerSchool like you always would do and sign in. So now when you sign in, the screen looks pretty much the same except for the fact that underneath each of your classes it now says Power Teacher Pro. So to get to your gradebook, which is what this now is, you're just going to click that Power Teacher Pro link. And it takes a little uh, it takes a second now the beautiful part about the power teacher pro is it is available on all devices now chromebooks it's no longer based on flash so you can do it on ipads you can do it on tablets you can do it on cell phones you can do it on computers you're not locked into your desktop anymore so make sure you get that power teacher link now because we're outside the school year i don't have any assignments that will come up now you'll notice the screen looks very very different from what we're used to in the past when you have your assignments um, available, they're all going to pop up here and that's going to be in a later tutorial. You'll notice down up at the top, it will give you which class you're looking at currently. So mine is defaulted to my first class, which is 5A. If I click right here at the top, it'll give me all of my different classes. Now on the right hand side for settings, if you click the buttons and I, I encourage you to click around and test everything out, you'll notice this one that looks like a little pie chart will give you um, what your class looks like in de uh, demographic wise how many a's how many b's how many c's etc all the way through and there is a little bit of overlap you'll notice a 90 is here and then a 91 is up here um, if i go back to this and i click on the little thing that looks like a bunch of squares almost like a calculator this will break down this is where my score sheet actually is so this will give me going left to right all my different assignments and all the different uh, grades for those particular students that I had here um, and also tell me my grade scale what time I'm looking for here's my year one I might only want to look at marking period one and it does give you the dates that are there now down the left hand side is where I can get information about my students so I can find all this information out this basic information out on um, through regular power schools website or I can do it here so you'll see that the quick lookup is here and if I want to find out that um, this particular student and what's, what classes this particular student is taking and what their grades are, I can look at it all here. I can also look at their progress towards um, whatever standard. Again, I'm back to that same screen I was at before. The button that says reports. This will allow me to run reports so I can now get my student roster. I can click on an individual student report if I'm having a meeting with a parent and I want to break down how many uh, homework assignments they missed or how many what their test scores are I can do it through the individual student report just like I could previously and then the multifunction assignment report would be if I want to then pick multiple students so I can sort this by okay well I only want my 5a class or yes I want all my classes I want dates these are all the assignments I could filter it by an assignment I could filter it by score etc so there's a lot of different formats I can choose for running the reports and again we're going to do a whole tutorial on just the reports when you click on your settings button you can actually now write a description for your class so if I want to give a description so that when parents open up the class they can get an idea of what the description is this might be a good place to put uh, a link to your syllabus or the description from the um, from the class selection sheet. I can change my display settings so I can show, you know, sort this by period. I can sort this by section number, which is basically the same thing. Um, I can choose how I want my gradebook to show me the grades. Like, do I want to show, see A, B, C? Do I want to see just the percentages? Do I want to see the points that they've earned and the percentages? So I can click off multiple things depending on what I want to look at. So mine is currently set up to, so I can just see the percentages that it's being rounded to. And it comes up here that's in percent. If I was doing standard based grading, that would pop up here. But I think my favorite part is this piece right here. So when I do my grade book and I do my score sheet, I want it sorted by last name, obviously. But there's always that situation where I start entering in grades and then like three weeks into the school year, a student gets transferred into my class. Well, I want that student to go at the bottom of my list because on my physical paper sheet, that's where I've added them. So this will automatically copy that system into PowerSchool. So all new students that will be added to the bottom of my list and I don't have to worry about accidentally entering in something in the wrong spot. Um, and then at the bottom here, it says apps. You don't even have to worry about that because 
there's nothing linked for us. So any changes you make, obviously, you want to make sure you hit save. If you leave that window and you don't hit save, it'll give you an error message. Um, and then again, you know, you want to do your grading, come back to the A plus that's back at the top. And I can look at my categories, I can look at my traditional grades, I can look at my assignment list. All of this is just click to see what you're what you're looking for. Um, in another tutorial, I'm going to show you how to enter in assignments, and then another, I'm also going to show you how to change your categories to set up your gradebook for the start of the year.